Hi students, welcome to Science Wise. Today we are going to study Chapter Six, State of Matter. In this chapter, we are going to learn about states of matter, changes in states of matter, solutions, effect of heating and cooling, changes around us. So here we are going to study about some processes which are related to this chapter. To find the name of the process with the hints given over here. So the first hint is of freezing. So we have to find the word freezing over here. So this is word freezing. Next is condensation. It is already highlighted over here. Condensation. Next phenomena is melting. Here we can find melting. Evaporation. Here is the word evaporation. See, bache. These four processes condensation, melting, freezing and evaporation we are going to study further in this chapter. But first the, the name of the chapter is states of matter. So matter means an object. In our day to day life we also see many things, many materials around us. All those materials have some mass and occupies space. Now what is mass? Mass is the mass of a substance is referred to to how heavy or light an object is. कि वो कितना हल्का और कितना भारी है कोई object तो उस उसके लिए refer किया गया है क्या mass ठीक है? The amount of space covered by an object is called its volume. Now what is the definition of matter? है ना? The name of the chapter is matter the states of matter right so what is the definition of matter it is c an object that has weight and occupies space is called matter aisa object jiska weight hota hai aur jo space occupy karta hai hum use kya bol dete hain matter all the things are matter aur sari hi cheeze kya hai beta मैटर अच्छा मैटर किससे बना हुआ है मैटर इज मेड ऑफ मेनी टाइनी यूनिट्स कॉल्ड मॉलिक्यूल्स मैटर बहुत छोटी छोटी यूनिट्स से बना हुआ है जिसको हम बोलते हैं मॉलिक्यूल्स मॉलिक्यूल्स कैसे होते हैं बहुत स्मॉल होते हैं दे आर स्मॉल इन साइज दैट कैन बी नाइदर नाइदर सी देम With our naked eyes, nor through a microscope. Microscope क्या होता है बेटा? Microscope is an instrument to see object that we cannot see with our naked eyes. Now let us understand few points about. मॉलिक्यूल्स है ना हाउ आर मॉलिक्यूल्स अरेज ठीक है हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट हाउ आर दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स अरेज सी यू कैन सी दीज ब्लू बॉल्स और ब्लू डॉट्स आर मॉलिक्यूल्स राइट द स्पेस बिटवीन ईच मॉलिक्यूल इज नोन एज इंटर मॉलिकुलर स्पेस You can see this space. I have marked it with green color, है ना? So this space is known as intermolecular space. The gap or the space between the molecule of the substance is called intermolecular space. These molecules also exerts force. ठीक है? This force of this force exerted by the molecules between each of them is known as 
इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन दीज रेड एरोज डिनोट द फोर्स ठीक है द मोलिक्यूल्स आर हेल्ड इन देयर पोजिशन बाय द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन देम नेबरिंग मोलिक्यूल अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर दिस फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज कॉल्ड इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्स दीज मोलिक्यूल्स अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर विथ द हेल्प ऑफ अ फोर्स विथ द हेल्प ऑफ एन अट्रैक्शन फोर्स दैट फोर्स इज नोन एज इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन दीज रेड एरोज आर ऑफ इंटर मोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन दिस फोर्स आर स्ट्रॉगर बिटवीन द मॉलिक्यूल एंड pulls the molecule closer to each other than the molecules that are far apart theek hai now we are going to study about the states of matter there are three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas first we will study about the solid state in solid state the packing of molecule you can see in this diagram see the intermolecular force of attraction is very high right and the intermolecular space you can see the where i have put in the red dots see it is very less the intermolecular space is very less and the molecules are very tightly packed theek hai uh, it see here in solids molecules are tightly packed with very little intermolecular space and intermolecular force of attraction is very strong it has very strong intermolecular force of attraction which result in which result in the fixed position of the molecule right and it has very little vibration the arrangement of molecule in solid gives them the definite shape solids have definite shape and volume and also we can hold the solid material in our hand so example of solid is pen book etc it is a fact there are some solids such as sponge rubber band that can be pressed or stretched however they again regain their shape once applied the force once the applied force is removed next is liquids molecules in liquid are loosely packed you can see the molecules have more gap in liquids as compared to the solid they have intermolecular space more than solid okay force of attraction between the molecule is not stronger okay force of attraction between the molecule is not stronger as in solid they do not have fixed shape they take shape of the container see if the water is poured in this jug it will take the shape of jug and when it is just kept in the glass it will take the shape of the glass right or if there is no container the liquid just flows clear you can see the arrangement of the molecule in liquid these molecules are far apart from each other see the arrangement is far apart of the molecules in liquid state
mercury is only metal that is liquid at room temperature mercury is the example of liquid water is the example of liquid lemon juice is example of liquid but mercury is the metal which is liquid at the room temperature that is why we use mercury in thermometer also now see here one activity is given in this activity they have taken a beaker in this beaker they have added some amount of water and some amount of sugar see if this blue is donated as water molecule and the gray color is for sugar molecule after mixing it after mixing sugar and water together what we can see we can see that sugar dissolves in water completely how is it possible it is possible because sugar molecules occupy the space between water molecules you can see the these blue are the water molecules and the gray molecules take place or occupies the space between the water molecules this is how the sugar dissolved in water very easily is this activity clear bachche now moving to the next topic which is gas gas has no fixed shape or volume it always spread out to fill the container or available space there is negligible force of attraction between the molecules negligible means not enough to consider matlab nahi ke barabar theek hai hence the molecules are free to move around the molecules randomly move in the container in all the directions you can see in this also the molecules are moving in all the directions theek hai they are free to show the movement the molecules are moving in all the directions this is the arrangement of the molecules in gaseous state now here we are going to study about the comparative or the summarized form of the states of matter and properties of solid liquid and gas in solid molecules are tightly packed and vibrate at their position in liquids molecules are loosely packed and show some movement in gases molecules are far apart and free to move around in the available space in solid intermolecular space is minimum see intermolecular space is minimum molecules show negligible movement intermolecular space is more than solids molecules show some movement intermolecular space is maximum molecules move freely in all the directions in solid intermolecular force of attraction is maximum in liquids intermolecular force of attraction is less as compared to solid intermolecular force of attraction is minimum in solids they have definite shape in liquids no definite shape takes the shape of the container in liquid they do not have definite shape spread in the space available in solids they have definite volume in liquids also they have definite volume but in gas they do not have definite volume in solid solids cannot flow liquids can flow and gases fill the available space next is 
changes in the state of matter matter can change from one state to another like solid can change into liquid and liquid can be changed into solid see solids can be changed into liquid liquid can be changed into gas and vice versa theek hai so matter can change its state by heating and cooling for example water changes into water vapor on heating water changes into ice on cooling let us study about these here we are going to study about melting see here you can see solid butter on heating starts melting or if we take out butter or ice cream from the refrigerator and leave it outside for some time the butter or ice cream melts why this happens because refrigerator in the refrigerator the temperature is low as compared to the outside temperature theek hai the ref, uh, in refrigerator temperature is very low as compared to the outside temperature when a solid is kept at the high temperature or it is heated the molecules vibrate strongly and the intermolecular force are weakened molecules lose their ordered arrangement and start moving around thus solid changes into liquid next is freezing when we keep a liquid at lower temperature it changes into solid jab hum kisi liquid ko lower temperature pe rakhte hain it changes into solid for example the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius मतलब जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस पे पानी क्या होता है फ्रीज हो जाता है ओके लिक्विड एट लोअर टेम्परेचर वेन वी कीप अ लिक्विड एट लोअर टेम्परेचर इट चेंजेस इनटू सॉलिड एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड फ्रीजिंग अ लिक्विड फ्रीजेस टू द सॉलिड एट लोअर टेम्परेचर बिकॉज द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ लिक्विड increases and molecules come closer to become tightly packed and this result into the change of liquid state to the solid state for an example if we keep water in the freezer it changes into ice this is because at the lower temperature the movement of the molecule decreases the force of attraction between the molecule increase and molecules become tightly packed in this example also filling water in ice tray one person is filling the water in ice tray and then the ice tray is freezed it means the water is freezed and there is ice in the ice tray so water changes into ice on cooling evaporation water changes into water vapor or steam on heating when we boil water at 80 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius अच्छा 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द वाटर बट व्हेन वी बॉइल इट एट द हाई टेंपरेचर इट मींस 80 डिग्री सेल्सियस टू 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस वाटर इज बॉइल्ड एंड स्टीम स्टार्ट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ इट है ना सो लेट्स सी एन एग्जांपल व्हेन वी प्रिपेयर टी इन अ पैन फर्स्ट वी बॉइल वाटर द स्टीम स्टार्ट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ द पैन दिस steam is the gaseous form of the water also called as water vapor therefore 
when we heat a liquid for some time it changes to gas the process of change of liquid to gas on heating or increase the temperature is called evaporation this change occur because when we heat a liquid its molecules start moving faster and the intermolecular force becomes extremely weak the molecules move freely and also move apart this is why it result in the change of liquid state to the gaseous state next topic is condensation next topic is condensation when gases comes in contact with cool surface it changes to liquid state this process of change of gas to liquid is called condensation the change of gas into liquid occur because the random moving molecule slow down on cooling and intermolecular force of attraction increases bring the molecule closer together this result in the change of gaseous state to the liquid state for an example if you take out a water bottle from the freezer and keep it on the table what will happen after few time the water vapor in the air condense to form water droplet another phenomena is sublimation sublimation is the change of solid state to the gaseous state without coming to the liquid state it means solid state changes into gaseous state without coming into a liquid state the example is naphthalene balls which is kept in the woolen clothes while storing them there are some solids which changes into gaseous state directly without changing into liquid state this process of change of solid directly into gaseous state is called sublimation for example we keep the naphthalene balls in woolen clothes while storing them they are used to keep them keep the bugs away from stored woolen clothes after a year the ball reduces in the size as they change into gas without leaving any liquid residue solutions solutions are consist of two components that is solute and solvent so, solutions can be defined as two substance mixed together in a way that they get evenly distributed is known as solution solvent is the substance in which another substance is dissolved the substance that get dissolved in the solvent is called solute jo substance solvent mein dissolve hota hai use kya bolte hain beta solute for an example sugar solution sugar is dissolved in water here sugar is a solute and water is a solvent water is known as universal solvent water is known as universal solvent because it dissolve many substances in it why because it dissolves many substances in it that is why water is known as universal solvent now here we are going to study about the types of solution there are basically four types of solution first is solid in liquid another one is liquid in liquid then gas in liquid 
गैसेज इन गैस ठीक है एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सॉलिड इन लिक्विड इज सुगर शुगर सोल्यूशन सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन पोटेशियम पर मैग्नेट इन वॉटर हेयर शुगर इज सॉलिड एंड वॉटर इज लिक्विड इन सॉल्ट सोल्यूशन सॉल्ट इज सॉलिड एंड वॉटर इज लिक्विड पोटेशियम पर मैग्नेट पोटेशियम पर मैग्नेट इज सॉलिड एंड वॉटर इज लिक्विड है ना सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज फॉर्म वेन सल्यूट इज इन सॉलिड स्टेट एंड सॉल्वेंट इज इन लिक्विड स्टेट इन लिक्विड टू लिक्विड सोल्यूशन सॉरी लिक्विड इन लिक्विड सोल्यूशन वॉटर एंड मिल्क और मिल्क इन वॉटर लेमन जूस इन वॉटर दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ लिक्विड इन लिक्विड सोल्यूशन वेयर मिल्क इज ऑल्सो अ लिक्विड एंड वॉटर इज ऑल्सो अ लिक्विड बोथ द कंपोनेंट्स आर लिक्विड लेमन जूस इज ऑल्सो लिक्विड एंड वॉटर इज ऑल्सो लिक्विड दिस टाइप ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज नोन एज लिक्विड इन लिक्विड सोल्यूशन इन विच द सल्यूट एंड द सोलवेंट बोथ आर इन द लिक्विड स्टेट gases in liquid in this type of solution the example is aerated water and oxygen dissolved in water this kind of solution solute is in the gaseous state and solvent is in the liquid state gases in gases in this kind of solution the solute and solvent both are in the gaseous state for example air is the mixture of different gases next topic is miscible and immiscible liquids now there are two types of liquid one is miscible liquids and another one is immiscible liquids so miscible liquids are the liquids which mixed together hai na which mix together when we mix two liquids together and they dissolve in each other such liquids are called miscible liquid like laminate is a miscible liquid for example we make laminate we mix lemon juice in water the lemon juice dissolve completely in water on the other hand you can see the example oil in water is an immiscible liquid when we mix two liquids and they do not mix completely such liquids are called immiscible liquids these liquids form two separate layer these liquids form two separate layer as you can see in the picture also oil has a separate layer and water is water has a separate layer oil floats on the surface of water for example if we mix oil in water and keep it undisturbed after some times what we'll observe is the two separate layer we can observe the layer of oil above the water okay next topic is changes around us in our day to day life also we observe many changes one of the basic change what everyone has observed is blooming of a bird into a flower flower changes into fruit seed changes into seedling and further grows to become a big plant and so on theek hai according to this changes are classified into physical and chemical change now let us understand about these changes physical change what is a physical change in physical change there is the change in shape or the state of the substance but no new substance is formed just keep it in mind no new substance is formed we can get back the original substance such changes are called as physical change for example change of water into ice change of ice into water tearing of paper melting of butter and breaking of a glass are the example of physical 
are the example of physical change. When the block of butter, see, when the block of butter is kept outside for some time, it starts melting. You can see this butter starts melting. If it is kept again in freezer, it solidifies. So, no new substance is formed. The change occurs in the state or shape of the substance. Similarly, the change of water into ice is a physical change as ice can be changed back into water. Also, the composition of both ice and water is same. Chemical change. In chemical change, the chemical change involves the formation of new substance. Means in chemical change, a new substance is formed. Such changes are called chemical change. For example, burning of paper. When we burn the paper, we get ash. Lighting of a matchstick. Curding of milk. Rusting of iron nail. Flowery. Flowers change into fruit and decaying of plant are the example of chemical changes. See, when we burn a piece of a paper, a black color material called ash and some smoke is produced. Similarly, when milk changes to curd, a new substance is formed. Further, we cannot get paper back after it burn or milk after it changes to curd. In chemical change, we cannot get the original substance. Yes. The chapter, here is the chapter summary. It is a quick recap. Okay. Matter. Anything that has mass and occupies space is known as matter. States of matter. There are three states of matter. One is solid, liquid, gas. Solid has definite shape and definite volume. Liquid do not have definite shape but have the volume. Gases neither have definite shape nor definite volume. Changes in the state of matter. State of matter changes from one form to another on heating or cooling. According to this, we have studied about four phenomena that is melting, freezing, evaporation, condensation. In melting, solid changes into liquid state. It means ice changes into water. In freezing, liquid state changes into solid means water changes into ice. Evaporation Liquid changes into gas. It means water changes into water vapor. In condensation, gases changes into liquid. It means you find water droplets near the cold water bottle. On the surface of the cold water bottle. Next is solutions. So, we have studied about Four types of solution. Solutions are formed when solute get evenly distributed in solvent. So here we have studied about four types of solution. That is solid in liquid, liquid in liquid solution, gas in liquid, gas in gas. Effect of heating and cooling. Expansion and contraction. Expansion, when a substance is heated, it expands. Contraction, when a substance is cooled, it contracts. Now, next is chemical and physical change. Chemical and physical change. Change in shape or state 
of a substance but no new substance is formed in chemical change formation of new substance takes place so it was a very quick summary of the solve the exercise what is common between pulse sugar oil and soup option a they are all matter and do not have definite volume they all matter have mass they all have mass and their molecule have no force of attraction the correct answer is option b they all matter have mass they are all matter and have mass question number 2 which of these are the properties of liquid option a fixed shape closely packed molecule molecule vibrate at their position spread in the space available no shape strong force of attraction between molecule option c loosely packed molecule takes shape of the container force of attraction is less than the solid so the property of liquid is option c loosely packed molecule take the shape of the container force of attraction is less than the solid so correct answer is option c which of these represent arrangement of the molecule in the gaseous state this is the arrangement of solid this is the arrangement of liquid this is the arrangement of solid so this is the arrangement of liquid so option c is the correct answer these two options are not the correct option option c is correct what is the change of liquid to solid state called melting option b freezing option c evaporation option b is the correct answer freezing which of the following is an example of a physical change rusting of an iron nail b melting of an ice cream c making of curd from milk rusting of an iron is a chemical change making of curd from milk is also a chemical change physical change is melting of ice cream next is fill in the blanks first is all matter is made up of dash in the blank molecule will come all matter is made up of molecule a matter occupies space and has mass dash have large intermolecular space gases have large intermolecular space we when we freeze a substance its molecules come closer to each other five burning of wood is a dash change burning of wood is a chemical change come to question d match the following first is freezing freezing is change of liquid to solid state second melting melting is change of solid to liquid state evaporation change of liquid to gas condensation change of gas to liquid hope so the video is very clear to you